What's up, guys? I'm back. You know, I'm, try I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Right now, it's so crazy. Like, I just had, like, the random urge to, like, go to Target. <laughs> pouring outside right now and i'm just like i'm gonna go to target like it looks absolutely crazy outside i'm playing myself but i really want to go to target i'm like in a black aesthetic mood right now so i have a whole black outfit on i'm gonna put on some black green boots got my little brand new black wood bag everything all black today for the rain i think i'm gonna put a hat on so that my hair doesn't get wet oh i need to put it This is my best friend right here. That's Yaya. My best friend, she all over Target. Okay, I went around this like fucking 20 times and it was in the aisle where they have like the chopsticks, the Burks and Bees chopsticks. And I found it. Yeah, I said it right, Dr. Bronner's. Yeah, I said it right. I wish I just didn't know what the hell I was talking about, but this is it. I heard it's pretty good, so I want to use this for my hoo-ha. So, that's what we're doing. Because I need to figure out what else my list I um, need to get. I got the black little sunscreen. I'm really happy about that. Got the body wash. I really want the Dove Mousse. Oh, I got a Dove deodorant. I couldn't find the exfoliator or the Dove Mousse. I'm going to try and look one more time and see if I missed it. But I don't think so. This target is like really empty. Oh, this is a face oil. I'm sure moisture. Overnight face oil. Should I get it? I was looking for a face oil. Let's see. Can I find another one? Okay, this is night. I want like all day. Let me look. Let me look. Like if it's not skin with me, I'm not getting it. Oh, it's just like spoiler with the straw. If I can't find the dark one, I'm gonna try this one. It's a body polish too. And let me just get into this. See if I can find anything else. Yeah. 
the body polish oh, I'm so excited okay this is the almond or mango yeah that's the only one they have I guess I'm gonna get it I'm gonna just get it and try it out I'm just like okay so dry sprays I need to find a worker so I can, so I can confirm with them. I see Dub Duty. I see all this stuff up here. Shower phone. But I probably was there up here. But everybody took it. It must have went viral on TikTok or something. Get me in that. I really wanted to try it. All right. I'll order it online. I think I'm done here. Yeah, before I go crazy. I think I'm done. All right, so I'm about to go check out and I'll show you guys more in depth everything I got when I get to my house. I'm mad out of breath, but I just came back, back home from Target. I need a second to catch my breath. Give me okay. here. Let's get into it. All right, so I got this. It's a shower wrap. I got this. This is the Dr. I don't know. If I'm, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Dr. Bronner's, and it's the Baby Unscented Pure Castra Oil Soap. Not Castra, Casto. Whatever the fuck. This is the soap, and I'm gonna use this down there. Um, I saw a lot of reviews on on YouTube, and I saw it from um, African Beauty. That's what you call yourself. I don't I think she changed her name, but that used to be her name and I love I love her page so I believe anything she says and she looks like she smells good so so I'm gonna tell her I said that but she likes she smells good. I already had a, a I already have a body wash because I went to CVS when I couldn't find the double one that I usually get and I got a, a Nivea one but like I like it because it smells good but I'm a dove girl like I love me some dove and this is my favorite one. This is the um shea butter and warm vanilla. But then I bought some more deodorant. I bought this one. So this deodorant is supposed to have 0% um, aluminum. And everyone's, I feel like everyone's been on that trend of like all natural deodorants and stuff. So I feel like that's why Dove got on it. But um, I'm excited to try this one because I, I, like the, I like the Dove undertone, I think it is. That one helps my underarms a lot. And then I also use the Dove um, aftercare or something like that. Or clinical care, some shit like that. But one of the one of the other pricier Dove ones, and I love it. So I'm gonna try this one out just because I wanted to get Dove. And then um, I don't know if you guys could see in the videos, but I'm a little insecure about this part of my lip. I feel like when I was younger, I've always had little marks there, but as I kept smoking, as I was, um, as I'm getting older, like there is really dark, and it just looks like a line like a smoker's lip so i'm trying to like really like lighten it so i bought a lip scrub and a lip balm and it's ex exfoliate nourish and hydrate so I'm, I, I'm gonna use this and then i also use this lip therapy so i i use this every day i feel like it's made a difference making it look brighter because it was definitely more purple around my my lip like right here now it looks like it's only gonna it's only like right there so now i'm just trying to like really have an exfoliator so that I can use it constantly, use a lip balm, and then use this. Hopefully I see a difference. And then I bought this uh, witch hazel. 
I was a little upset that I scanned this because it was a little pricey, but hopefully it works. And it's a facial mist. So it's, it's witch hazel. I've heard of people using it on their skin. So I'm gonna give it a shot because I really want to build up my skin routine as well. These sheets, these black sheets. First of all, I've been looking for this, like these specific sheets like in black for so long. Every time I go to fucking Target, they only have the fucking um, stretchy gray ones. And I already have like two big of those. So I'm happy that I was able to find the black one and it's queen size because I have a queen size bag. I'm excited, I'm gonna change my cover today. I wonder if Jared's gonna notice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the bed over again and see if he'll notice. He probably won't. The Dove um, exfoliating um, body polish. And I also bought this one as well. This one is Soap and Glory. And it's a body polish exfoliator as well. Um, this one, I, I honestly didn't smell them. I just wanted to have two options. Mmm, smells good. Damn. Oh, this smells good as fuck. Um, I think it's mango. Yeah, crushed almond and mango butter. Mmm, what the fuck? This smells good. Mmm. That smells so good. <laughs> this shit smells good, okay? I usually use the, the shea butter one to match to match my, my body wash and then I'd be using the pomegranate one. I think I still have some in my in my um, bathroom. Oh my god, this smells so good. I'm excited to try both of these. Well I can't wait. I'm gonna redo my whole little bathroom area. Jared gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, and then I see a lot of people using this, which I'm really excited for. And the girl that I was that I watched on YouTube, she said to use this and to put your lotion. So combine them together and put your lotion on and it makes you feel all glossy and smell good and everything. I actually really wanna get the, the Bomb Bomb um, lotion that everyone's been talking about on TikTok. Um, they said it at Sephora. I actually used to get them for like my birthday. They'll give it the little sample stuff. So I have some of the little sample ones, but I've used them all. So I think I'm just gonna order online because I was gonna go to Sephora today but it's pouring rain outside. I'm not even going to play myself. And I think they closed at 5. So I was like, fuck it. Am I going to go to Target or Sephora today? And I'm like, I can't do both because I'm doing too much. So yeah, I'm going to get the Bomb Bomb. The, the, I think it's Bomb Bomb or Bomb Bomb. I'm not sure. But it's that lotion. And I'm going to I'm gonna mix it with this because she did it. And her skin looked amazing. And I already used that lotion. I love it. And I haven't used this. So if she's vouching for it, I believe it. So funny story about this. So I was I was checking out whatever, and this was like next to the, the bags. So I just slipped it into my bag. I stole one thing, just one. But it, but it was there, like it was there already. So I feel like I just I just you know try to get something that matched. You know <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. So this is hand food, and I actually was looking at it, but I was like, damn, a little pricey. I don't know if I really want to do all of that for some hand cream. So I was kind of really excited that it was right there, the little checkout thing. I didn't have to put the little barcode thing to it. So I was like, I'm just gonna slip that in there, act like a, no one saw it. I actually have it on my hands right now, and let me tell y'all, it makes such a fucking difference, yo. My hands feel so hydrated. I put it out in the cab, just because my hands were feeling dry, and my hands feel amazing. So it's a non-grease hydrating hand cream with shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallow. Yo, why do be fancy as fuck with this shit? When I put it on, it had my hands feeling all nice and soft. Y'all see? You know, you gotta check this part, make sure you don't got no crust there, but my shit good, ain't no crust there. So, the hand cream. But I got the black girl sunscreen. I've been so excited about getting this. I've been talking about this all summer. I've been trying to get everyone to start using the black girl sunscreen. But I gotta practice what I preach because I dead didn't even buy it. I just been telling everybody because I saw it on the commercial at Target. I'm like, support everything black, duh. Like, so that's exactly why I got it because I support everything black. And I've heard nothing but good reviews about this. I actually have a friend who she is an esthetician and she um, uses this on her skin. So I'm excited to try it every day and I really want to find a more affordable sunscreen to use on my body because the one that I use for my face is $30 and I cannot be using that all over my body. Like, I'm not spending $30 every fucking month for some sunscreen. So I got this one. Last but not least, we got the oils. 
so I was looking at, at all the little oils and these stuck out to me well they're serums and this one is a brightening boost serum and then this one is the vitamin C I already use a vitamin C one but honestly I've had that vitamin C one for a little minute so I want to change it because I don't know it's always good to try stuff so I'm gonna use these in my skin routine probably like by like tomorrow and see how they work I think I think I only need to use one but can I use both of them I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna try it out like using a little bit of each and seeing how it works with everything I got at Target I'll tell you how much I spent. Look at my wet ass receipt. Oh, I don't think, I don't think I, did I do the oils or did I just put them in my bag? Soap and Glory scrub, this shit was $14. Holy shit. This was $15. What the fuck was Art Naturals? Was it one of these shits? Oh yeah, I think it's this. This shit was fucking $13. Yeah, because I was like, what the fuck? Man, I feel like I treated myself. Welcome to a uh, black girl luxury skin routine, whatever, whatever. I had a good time at Target. Thank y'all for watching. I'm about to go take a shower and use this stuff. I think I'm gonna, so I saw somewhere in like the YouTube comments when I was watching some YouTube videos, saying that you should go in with like a pure soap like one of these to wash off your body and then go in with the perfumey stuff so that it can stay and like smell really good so i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wash my, my wash my body with this wash my hoo-ha with this and then i'm gonna go in with the exfoliators or do you do the exfoliators after no you do the, so no, no i'm gonna go in with the body wash so it's gonna be this this then one of these and then I have, I have Jergens lotion, but uh, yeah, I have Jergens lotion. So I'm gonna use the Jergens lotion, and then I'm gonna use this mixed with it. And I think we're gonna have a good old time. And I'm gonna smell really good. I have stayed on for this long. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn your post notification on so you don't miss a beat, okay? Like always, I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. So shout out to the Glam Fam. Make sure if you guys watch this video, make sure to drop like, like, like a little star or something or something to show that you watched the video all the way. But this is all for now. Love y'all.